What time is it? Say it's time for KP's video news. KP's video news. This is KP's video news, y'all. This KP's video news, y'all. This KP's video news, y'all. That's right, it's time for KP's video news, and I'm here today to, uh, I'm getting ready to blow the lid off the funk over here today, so uh, I just got to do it, man, I got to do it, because if I'm going to wear the shirt, I'm gonna wear, if I'm going to wear the shirt, that means I got to, I got to talk the talk, I got to walk the walk, because, uh, you know, I just been over here, and I was I kind of woke up uh, a little early, and I said, "Wait a minute." You know, it's it's a uh, a lot of people that are going to go out. You know, a lot a lot of minorities here in the United States uh, today are going to go out, and they're going to spend a ton of money. They're going to go go to the supermarket, and they're going to go buy a lot of food. And they're going to go to the safe and sane uh, little fire firecracker store that they got on, you know, they popping up on every corner. Or uh, they're going to go to their bootleg fireworks dealer. They probably got enough fireworks to just blow up the whole neighborhood in his garage. Uh, and they're going to spend a ton of money, man, trying to celebrate a holiday that especially for black people, African Americans, uh, people of African descent and Native American descent as well. Uh, the 4th of July is not your holiday. It's not your holiday. So, uh, you know, and basically to be real about it, in uh, 1492, when so-called Christopher Columbus was supposed to have discovered and how you discover something when people are already here, I don't understand that premise. However, that's when the slave trade started, basically in 1492, as far as I'm concerned. However, on July 4th, 1776, you know, some three years after 1492, 300 years, rather, uh, the United States supposedly had won its independence from England and uh, but that didn't mean it was independence for you because you took from July 4, 1776 all the way to uh, June 19th, 1865 and to be actually more specific on April 16th 1862 was the day that uh, Abraham Lincoln was supposed to have signed the Emancipation Proclamation. So you talk about basically three years later, after the fact, Juneteenth happened. But April 16, 1862 is when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, so-called freeing the slaves in the United States. Uh, however, they want you to celebrate the 4th of July celebrate their independence, but they don't want you to celebrate your independence. So I, I'm I'm changing the name of it, the 4th of July from Independence Day to Dependence Day. That's right, dependence. Because basically in a nutshell, the colonizers that came to this country, they had they you know they had they had their plan of manifest destiny, and that plan basically is all about you and all about them being dependent upon you for their success so they uh you know they depend on you they really truly depend on you and they want to trick you into thinking that they don't depend on you but in reality they do first they, they depend on you to make them rich you know the whole thing was the whole thing was as far as the uh, uh slavery situation was concerned was to make 
the colonizers was rich with the uh, picking tobacco and cotton and doing all those, you know, farming and doing and and doing all that stuff, all the hard, heavy labor building because black people are the master masons, the real, true Freemasons that know all the secrets of how to build, uh, build. All, every major castle in, in Europe and uh, Washington, D.C. was built at the hands of the Master Masons, which are black people. Uh, so they depend on you. They depend on you to make them feel superior. You know, if they, if they didn't have somebody that they could stand on to make feel inferior, then they would not feel superior. And... Uh, they they depend on you to fulfill their financial destiny and their financial destiny is, as far as they're concerned is to be in financial control over everything and to never ever give you a chance to uh be financially independent from them uh they depend on you to have somebody to look down on somebody to look down on to try to you know try to boost up their egos so as long as they can and what and, and, and if you look at history you'll see that there has always been a group of people in the United States that has been put in that position if it wasn't the uh, Native Americans the uh, uh, the redskin so-called redskin Indians and the uh, Aboriginal Indians the black skin Indians like the Seminoles it, it was always somebody that they can put in that place of subservient to be subservient and uh, so uh, and after every war that the United States has been involved in each time they bring a remnant of that particular country that they uh, dominate or they they win the war over they did it uh, they did it in um, World War one they did it in World War two they brought a lot of Germans here after World War II uh, to basically be subservient. They brought a lot of Japanese here after World War II uh, to be subservient. They brought the Chinese here back in the 1800s to build to help build the railroads uh, to, to fill in that subservient role. The Irish and the Italians were brought here, uh, allowed to come here to be so they could be subservient to the colonizers uh the, after the vietnam war was over with they brought the vietnamese here after the korean war was over they brought the koreans here to be subservient so it's always been a group of people that were that were used to be subservient to the colonizers in the united states to make them feel good about themselves and to make uh be financially to make uh financially to make money off of you so if they if whoever the the old saying goes, who has, whoever has the control of the gold makes the rules. So, uh, modern day, you know, they, they have, they, they need to, they're dependent on you to destroy, destroy and, and play with and have fun with. And uh, it's, it's like it's a game. It's all a game. So then they're dependent on you to fill the prison industrial complex, to fill the prisons. So they can make billions of dollars off at, in, in free and cheap labor off of the inmates that go into the prison system. That when they created all of the draconian laws and the so-called war on crime, they start giving out 25 to life sentences after Bill Clinton came up with the three strikes law. And that's to keep a steady flow and a steady uh, group of people inside the prisons so they can make money off of the prisoners. And they make tons of money off the prisoners, and don't don't be fooled. They make more than uh, license plates in prison. They make thousands of products, and they grow food, and they grow fish, and they process the fish, and they package it. They do all these things in prison now. So clothes, they make motorcycle parts for the quote unquote American-made motorcycle company. I don't have to mention their name. You know who it is, and. Uh, so you know it's a lot of reasons that uh they uh they want you to be, they want uh they need they're dependent on you to buy their old 
items to buy their old cars and they're depending on you to buy their old homes so with the money that you spend buying their old cars and their old homes they turn around and buy a new car and a new home with the money you just gave them for their old used up garbage and uh, they're depending on you to buy their products and they're depending on you to never ever uh, open up factories to, be, to make your own products they're depending on you to be to be uneducated, depending on you to be financially dependent upon them to uh, and and emotionally and uh, to be governed by the same colonizers that put you in that put you in in uh, bondage and slavery in the first place. So I'm blowing the lid off Independence Day today and like I said I just rephrase it and call it dependence day because those people that claim that they're they don't need you they're totally dependent upon you totally dependent upon you if they can keep you broke and uneducated and uh, living in poverty that benefits them because the less money you make the more money they make the more you depend on them the more money they make the more you destroy your own neighborhood the more money they make because that's where the pipeline goes to the, the whole prison system the more drugs you sell the more money they make they sell you the drugs they sell you the guns then they turn around and make money off of you by locking you up in the penitentiary so it's a vicious cycle but we got to get back to where we where we are and celebrate who we are and this is just one day Juneteenth June 19th that's just one day, but I'm going to be celebrating Juneteenth. I'm going to be celebrating Martin Luther King's birthday. I'm going to be celebrating, first of all, Emancipation Day, which is April 16th. That's, that's our Independence Day. April 16th is our Independence Day. So, and they actually have that as a holiday and uh, uh, in certain, certain places. So, I'm, I'm going to give you this, this information. And uh, Emancipation Day is a public holiday in the District of Columbia where it's a day off for the general population in schools. Most businesses are closed. E Emancipation Day is a holiday in D.C. Understand that. It's a holiday in D.C. And it used to be a holiday nationwide. However, they scrapped that way back in 1905 or something. Way back. Way back. And so what do people do? You say a, a wide range of events are arranged in D.C. to mark Emancipation Days. These are spread throughout the month of April and include exhibitions, public discussions, presentations of historic documents, the laying of wreaths, concerts, and poetry readings. The events aim to educate a broad spectrum of people about the history uh, of the municipality of the of District of Columbia in general and slavery in particular. Attention is also paid to the African origin of many slaves and racial issues in modern American society. Public life, April 16th, is a legal holiday in Washington, D.C. Local government offices are closed. Many public services do not operate. However, many stores and businesses are open and there are uh, no changes to public transit services in some, in, in some years. Emancipation Day may even be the reason to extend the deadline for filing an income tax return. Uh, the observance of Emancipation Day in Washington, D.C. had the, uh, the effect of nationally extending the 2006 income tax, filing de uh, uh, income tax filing deadline from the 16th to the 17th. And other areas of the United States, April 16th is a normal day and public life is not affected. Wow. Formal slavery, slavery was legal until 1865 in most area uh, most of the area that is now the United States many slaves were of African origin and many slave owners were of European descent although some other groups also had slaves by 1860 there were about 4 million slaves in the United States and on April 16 1862 Abraham Lincoln who, who was a US president of that time signed the Compensated Emancipation Act, which freed more than 3,000 slaves in the District of Columbia. However, 
slavery did not officially end in the rest of the United States until after the Civil War, which lasted from 1861 to 1865. The 13th Amendment uh, to the United States Constitution formally ended slavery in the United States. It was proposed on January 31st, 1865 and ratified by 30 of the then 36 states in the same year. However, it was only ratified, get this, in Mississippi, the end of slavery, slavery didn't end in Mississippi until 1995. 1995. And if you don't, don't know it, Mississippi just got rid of the Confederate, that little Confederate flag, uh, just a couple, two days ago. So slavery and, and the racial uh, divisions upon which it is based have had continued to have huge implications for individuals in American society as a whole. Emancipation Day in Washington, D.C. marks the anniversary of the signing of the Compensated Emancipation Act. And on uh, January 4, 2005, legislation was signed to make Emancipation Day uh, an official public holiday in the District of Columbia. Elsewhere in the United States, the emancipation of slaves is celebrated uh, in Florida on May 20th, Puerto Rico on March 22nd, and Texas on June 19th. There are also similar events in many, many countries in the Caribbean, including and, uh, Anguilla, the Bahamas, Bermuda, Barbados, Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Many of these events occur the first week of August as uh, slavery was abolished in the British Empire on August 1st in 1834. So, hey, folks, like I said before, you got Dependence Day, which is today, July 4th, Dependence Day. Then you have Emancipation Day, which is April 16th. And then you got Juneteenth, which was like, you know, April 16th, 1862 was the real true signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. But it was actually three years later when uh, when the last last slaves were freed in the uh, in, uh, well, 30, at least 30 of the 36 then states at that time. And they've added, as you know, they've added uh, 14 more states since then to, to make it round it out to 50. And uh, so you got to know your roots, man. You got to know what's going on. You have to know where you where you came from in order to know where you're going. And this is a real serious situation here I'm talking about due to the simple fact that if you're going to have any type of change that needs to go on, you need to understand the history. You, under, you got to understand the history. You have to understand where you've been. You have to understand where you've been in order to figure out where you're going. So, 4th of July, eh, 86 that. I'm done with that. I'll never celebrate that day again. However, it is my father's birthday. I'll be selling his birthday. His birthday. But uh, as far as popping fireworks, there go somebody outside popping fireworks right now. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, I will be celebrating Emancipation Day, Martin Luther King's birthday, uh, you know, Juneteenth. You know, hey, it's a whole bunch of other days I could be celebrating. My kids' birthdays, you know, stuff like that. Yep. So, hey, it is what it is. Don't, don't, and don't even get me started talking about no, I ain't going to mention that because a lot of you folks like that. However, don't get offended. Get educated. Get educated. Put that feather in your cap. Get educated. Educate yourself and free your mind. What time is it? Say it's time for KP's video news. Emancipation. Emancipation Day. KP's video news. April 16th, Emancipation Day. It's KP's video news, yo. It's KP's 
Peace Video News, y'all. Hey, Peace Video News, y'all. Tasty beverage. Peace. Peace.